Hey, it's GTSS, and in this video I wanted to go over the brand new Nexus launcher from Google. Has not been officially released yet, but of course it's been leaked, so we've got zip files and APKs. I would recommend flashing the zip file because it's a lot more stable. The APK crashes a bunch and doesn't really have all the features in it working just yet. So the first thing I noticed was no more Google search bar. We've got a G button now and when you click on it you'll still see the white thing in the back there so it looks pretty incomplete i'm not sure i like it uh but it is an incomplete launcher so i guess you're supposed to expect that uh, you've got a static date day and year in the top right that you cannot move it is not a widget trust me i've tried uh, you also can't add anything there you cannot remove that i don't like that either uh, because what ends up happening is you have much less space to put a widget. So if I want to put a clock, I just have this middle area. That's it. I cannot put a widget there. Uh, so I don't think that's that's a good change. It looks to me that Google did want to release the did want to remove the app drawer from Android N, but since that received a bunch of backlash, they're going to do it through the Nexus launcher by just reducing the amount of size for widgets by removing the app drawer icon, as you can see. Uh, but we'll get to that. So the next thing is the brand new folder icon, which we also saw in a different developer preview of Android N, which that was released and that was removed because it it's ugly. This this is ugly. I I don't like it. Skins, Android skins like Samsung's TouchWiz or even HTC show all of the icons, and even Apple show all of the icons in the folder. That works fine, but when you've cut out the corners, uh, that just that just looks. I don't like how it looks. Uh, I wish they would go back to the original folder uh, design, but of course this is a launcher, so you've got the choice just not to use it if you don't like it. So then you've got you know your different home screens here. You can add uh, other widgets here, uh, but you have no Google bar. You have no constant Google bar on all your home screens, which that might annoy you if you're like me. So uh, anyway, the biggest change to this uh, in this launcher compared to the Google Now launcher is the app drawer situation. No longer do you have an app drawer icon, instead you can place a fifth uh, icon in your dock, but now you have you can swipe up to get to your app drawer, or you can just click on the arrow right there, that is not an arrow, that arrow, to get to your app drawer. So you can swipe and swipe down to get to your app drawer. Uh, and it's got a white background and you can search up top here and everything works as it should uh, This part is uh, It makes sense. It's intuitive. You know not bad. I like the extra dock actually extra, extra icon in the dock uh, And of course you can swipe uh, To the right to get to Google now as you've always been able to so that is pretty much it in terms of customization Surprisingly not much you can change your wallpaper. Of course. It's got a interesting way to change wallpapers it's not very customized for large screens i don't know why they need to make each option that big but they did uh, in the settings you've got just three options which i did not like app suggestions which i leave on show google app and then allow home screen rotation uh so in terms of this launcher it looks like google is trying to shut things down in terms of customization i don't like it um i've been using it for a few days i Honestly, just even with even without the glitches, I'm not a huge fan. I, I will be sticking to the Google Now launcher. I prefer it. Uh, but give give the Nexus launcher a shot. I'll have the uh, zip in the description for you to download. And be sure to tell me in the comments what you think of it. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. And be sure to subscribe for more videos.